Hey everybody, Vikeshul here with another deck guiding gameplay video. Today's deck is Viego. So I've got the deck code down in the description if you'd like to give the deck a shot yourself. And if you're just here for some gameplay footage, you can head on over to the game number one timestamp. Alright, so let's get into the deck. Um, we'll talk a little bit about uh, what it is, kind of what the general game plan is, um, the cards that are included. Um, talk a little bit about the Mulligan phase as well and kind of what the, the matchups are. Alright, so this is uh, Mono Viego um, using Shadow Isles plus uh, Shurima as a second region. And so the deck is all about protecting Viego, getting him to level up, and then once you've got him leveled up, you kind of win the game at that point in most instances. So it's all about um, getting down units that can kind of help um, either level up Viego or you know protect or remove threats from your opponent's board, and then a lot of different spells that can help protect and uh, keep you alive, and um, and then you know eventually win the game with these spells. So. Um, the deck is a really strong deck, very much a control deck, very uh, cerebral type of deck. You really need to be thinking about your plays. You're not really just, you know, throwing out units and then attacking, and you want to make sure you're um, thinking multiple turns ahead even, um, just to make sure you're able to get Viego flipped. So, um, Viego is a 5-mana five 5-4 five um, with Fearsome. And so each round, the first time an ally dies, summon an Encroaching Miss. And so those Encroaching Miss, um, they're ephemeral, and not only do they buff up each other whenever a new one is summoned, and I also buff up Viego. They give plus one, plus one to both new Encroaching Mists as well as all Viegos everywhere. So your strategy is to get a lot of these units to, um, a lot of these Encroaching Mists summoned, plus your other units to die in order to level up Viego. So Viego levels up when he's seen allies with 20 plus power die. So it's really important to note that this is him actually having to be on the board seeing it. So, um, you know, if he's in your hand or... Um, if another Viego is out there and then dies, you know, you reset the progress. So it's really important that the Viego does not die um, in order to level him up. Um, another thing to keep in mind is things like Ancient Hourglass. If they're inside the Hourglass, they they remember their progression. Like if they've seen 10 of 20, they're still remembering that. But any new allies that are dying out on the board while they're in the Hourglass do not count towards that progression. So a lot of little... Um, uh, nuggets and interesting information you've got to be aware of um, when you're playing this deck. All right, and then as far as the followers go, um, so a lot of these followers are either summoning Encroaching Mists or helping us um, summon units to either trade into the opponents or help um, attack the opponent and kind of um, remove their threats. So we run three of Treasure Seeker, one mana, two, one, creates a Waking Sands in Hands. That's a two mana slow spell that creates a five to Ephemeral Attacker. So that ephemeral is really good for helping level up Viego because he counts as five power um, when he dies. We also run three of Spire and Chronomancer, so two mana, two, three with a play effect predict. So we're using this to help look for Viego, um, also look for other combo pieces that we need, or even just um, things like Kimmer Vorn Soldier, Evasive Hydromine, whatever it may be, Quicksand, Ride Negation. Um, so he's kind of in there just to help control what our top deck is. All right. We also run three of Kimmervoran soldiers, so three mana, three, three, and then when summoned, summons an encroaching mist. So, again, this encroaching mist help buff up not only Viego, but each other, and so just a really good uh, unit for this type of deck. Then we also run three of Merciless Hunters, so three mana, four, two with Fearsome, and then the play effect, grant an enemy vulnerable. So the Fearsome effect is really nice on him, since um, a lot of chump blockers can't uh, t uh, block into him. And then also getting those enemies vulnerable, you're able to make positive trades in your favor with this card. All right, and then we also run uh, two of Bakai Sand Spinner. So very similar function to Merciless Hunter. Four mana, five, three with a play effect. Grant an enemy minus one, minus zero, and vulnerable. So again, very similar purpose. Um, it does have five attack, which is nice um, when you're trying to level up Viego as well. All right, then we also run three of Invasive Hydrovine. So seven mana, seven, six with Fearsome. And then when summoned or round start, Summon an Encroaching Mist. So he's um, a way to really pump out all these Encroaching Mists. Um, very expensive card to get on the board, but once you get him going, you know, every round start, he's summoning a new one. So that's more buffs, um, more Encroaching Mists coming down. So once you get this guy on the board, you're in really good position a lot of the times because um, comparing this with, or combining this, excuse me, with Viego helps you turbo level up that Viego really quickly. All right. And then as far as the spells go, so we run three of Rite of Calling, so zero mana, slow spell, with the effect kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to draw a champion. So not only does this help us draw Viego, but it also 
is able to kill an ally. So if one of our allies we need to kill in order to help satisfy Viego's level up requirement, um, this card functions both ways. It's a zero mana, slow speed. Um, you can also use it to destroy one of your mana gems to draw champions, so you can have that ability as well if, if you want to guarantee. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if you target an ally to kill and that ally gets removed for some reason, you don't draw a champion. So it's very important to make sure you're playing this in the right spot. You don't want to just throw this out there if your opponent, like, like let's say you've got a treasure stick on the board and you play Rider Calling on it with one health here, and your opponent could play like a Pokey Stick or a Mystic Chart or something to take out your treasure seeker. So it's really important making sure you're monitoring your opponent's mana and also what uh, spells they could potentially have uh, to, to stop your Rider Calling. Um, so that's why it's kind of risky to do it when you're killing an ally. But nevertheless, it's a really strong card in this deck, so it's another way to find Viego, just like uh, Spire and Chronomancer. All right, then we also run three of Ancient Hourglass, two mana, um, fast speed. Uh, so you blitter an ally to summon a stasis statue in place. So you basically are using this to protect Viego for two mana. So it puts him in a one mana countdown, or excuse me, one countdown landmark, and then he resummons um, the following turn. Uh, so this is just your way to protect against big removal spells like Vengeance or Thermal Beam or whatever. Um, keep in mind that, you know, things like Scorch Earth can destroy landmarks, so you, know, you do need to play around that um, a little bit, but Ink Challenge is a really good protection spell. It only costs two mana, so it's really nice, uh, it's, it's also fast speed, so really good way. So once you, you know, when you're playing Viego, having Hourglass in hand is also a really nice um, kind of safety net, if you will. All right, then we also run three of Glimpse Beyond, so two mana, fast speed, kill an ally to draw two cards. So another way to kill units, another way to draw your cards. Um, a lot of times you're going to use this just to draw into the, your, your needed uh, combo pieces. And they also run three of Vile Feast, so two mana, fast speed, drain one from a unit to summon a spiraling. Helps ping off some of your um, enemy units. Uh, the drain is nice sometimes to get a little bit of healing. And then you also create that spiraling, another chump blocker. All right, we run two of quicksand, so three mana burst speed. Uh, give them, give either choose to give one enemy minus four minus zero, or two enemies minus two minus zero this round. And then you'd also disable their positive keywords this round. So good way to stop um, elusive or overwhelm attackers and kind of just slow down your opponent's game plan. All right, then we also run three of right invocation, so four mana fast speed. So either kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to stop all enemies' fast spells, slow spells, and skills. So really um, kind of an advanced um, deny, except a little more conditional. So you either got to kill an ally or serve one of your mana gems. And again, just like Red of Calling, if you choose to kill an ally and that ally gets removed, it stops the right negation from happening. So just keep that in mind when you're playing it. It's kind of um, can be a little bit scary to play that if your opponent's able to remove that blocker if you choose to kill an ally. So you can also just destroy one of your mana gems as well. All right, and then we also run two of Vengeance, so six mana fast speed, kill a unit. So again, removing those uh, big enemy threats. And then finally, we would run of Atrocities. So seven mana fast speed, kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. So typically, you want to cast this Atrocity on Viego to put his damage into the enemy nexus to kind of as a finishing blow. That's kind of what this is, kind of your last uh, finishing um, spell. All right, so as far as the Mulgan phase goes, you want to find Viego. We're all about finding Viego. If you give Viego in your hand, you're doing good. Against aggro, you know, there's a little bit of, you know, it's not always great to keep them in your hand. If you want to, if you don't have any, like, one or two or three drops, then that can be a little scary. But against pretty much any other matchup, you're looking for Viego. You want to have Viego as soon as possible. Um, and then your other things you're trying to find are... Your Treasure Seeker, Chronomancer, Kinvorn Social, Merciless Hunter. So any of your ones, twos, and threes uh, to pair with Viego is what you're looking for early on. Um, keeping something like Ancient Hourglass is also really nice if you've got Viego in hand already. Um, Quicksand Renegation can be situationally good. Um, typically, you don't want to keep those in your opening hand. You kind of want to look for your units. So pretty much the only spell I'm keeping in my opening hand is like an hour, Ancient Hourglass if I've already got Viego in my hand. Um, otherwise, I'm just looking for my early game followers and Viego as well. All right, and then as far as the the deck gameplay goes, again, it's a much very much a control deck, so you're not looking to just attack in and just trade away your board um, right away. Um, keep in mind, Viego levels up when he's seen allies with 20 plus power die. So having a wide board with your opponent having a wide board and kind of having a stalemate is beneficial to you. You don't necessarily want to just trade off your board. 
um, until you can get Viego down, then it's okay once these because he starts leveling up once your units start dying. So that's kind of the general game plan. Um, it does pretty well in the control decks. Um, some of the more mid rangey decks or aggro decks can sometimes give you the trouble depending on uh, the deck, but overall, I think it's a pretty solid deck for the meta right now. All right, so that's going to do it for the uh, intro part of the video. Let's go ahead and get into some games. All right, up against Karma Victor. Um, keep that for Victor. All right, nice. We got our Vigo. Got an Ancient Hourglass, which is nice. Fortunately, they're gonna have things like uh, recalls and denies. So that could be a little tricky. Bot down. Okay. I think I'm okay with just passing here. You know, actually, I can do this. I've got the sand spinner. Could just do this. This can be for Diego or whoever. Boom baboon. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna pass here so you can't play Victor. Let's see what they're gonna do here. Do have deny, which is nice. Okay, we'll keep passing. I don't want him to be able to play Victor. Okay, so no Victor. So I think we can go ahead and get VA go down now. Um, could have like thermo beam or something. Take two. Right. See if he tries to kill it with anything. Looks like no. Um, start with this here. Seven mana now. Um, I'm fine to keep passing here, honestly. I want to hold it from playing any of his champions as much as I can. Keep passing. I'm gonna do his two damage here. Alright, um I think at this point we can go ahead and grab one of these. Okay. 
So obviously he can get Victor down if he wants. But well, that's fine with me. So I think now is time we can go ahead and start uh, attacking in. Um, start getting some of these things, some damage on some stuff. Maybe don't attack in with that. Or do we? Uh, I don't know. Guess I'll hold that back. So I can get him leveled up. Start with this. So he's got deny. Let me just start with my mana gems now. Get another one if he's got another. All right, nice. Got him leveled up. So he can start. Uh, Doing some work against these guys. Do you have quicksand as well? I think that's fine with me. Alright, let's see what he's... He could have Karma. That's the one thing we're worried about for sure, is Karma. And we don't have a Atrocity either. Okay. Definitely want to do Quicks in here. Go ahead and try to kill this dude. Get some draw in. Alright, another red negation. Probably he's got so much mana, he could have a lot of burn as well. I'm really wondering what he's been drawing. <laughs> So if he does this, then he becomes the strongest who dies. So, so Victor's dead. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Pullable. Really looking for our atrocity. That'd be really nice to have, but uh, 
Right now we don't have it. Okay, so there's Karma. So again, not great for us. Yeah, this is looking pretty rough, especially if he's got burn spells now. Do have a right negation if he starts to go that route, though. Okay, I think we need to do that. Yeah. Don't think we can allow him to have too much of this. Alright, so we want Diego last, of course. Nice, we got him. Awesome. GG. Alright, up against Fielder Rush. Okay. Definitely want to keep Viego. Um, is it bad to keep Hydravine? Maybe. Maybe we look for earlier stuff. Do we want to have an Hourglass to protect him? Okay. Yeah, let's see if we... Quicksand might have been the keep as well. I don't know. Tough to say. Unfortunately, you can't play out anything. This is not a good start for early hand. Yeah, we're kind of bricked right now, but okay. We do have our sand spinner. Um, I think we can go with this, actually. That should be good. Start getting those going. Okay. Um... I just take the pass? I think I'm just going to take the pass here. He's played nothing right now. Okay, nice. So we'll go ahead and get Viego going. We'll gladly take that. Gladly take some damage now. Could do this to draw another one. Uh, I just don't see the need to right now. Trusty is nice. Um, let's go ahead and do this here. Um, could get the invasive hydrovine going. I'm also fine with just doing a vengeance here. Man, this is tough. Getting a control deck here. Alright, we can at least do this, right? and decide what we want to do. Could have like buried in ice. Buried in ice would be pretty bad for us. Okay. Okay. 
This is pretty good here. Get him down pretty low. Makes it hard for him to just... To Ready the torches. So he wants to play this. Okay, he's got a freeze. Yep, sure. I'll go ahead and kill... I'll go ahead and kill there, <clears throat> and do this. Still hold up three. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we've got Hourglass in case he tries to kill this. Could I should have waited on this actually? The glimpse was too, yeah, that was wrong of me to do that. There's no reason not to wait. I do get the. Uh, the plus one, right? But I mean, that's not really that relevant. Okay. So that's the one scary thing, is the freezes. So we've got one down, which is nice. We can also do this to kill one of our, uh, another unit to kind of get him closer. Okay, um, hmm. Do we want to go that route? Five, nine, so get him up to 17. That's probably worth it. Hmm, actually, you know what? He could, we want to make sure he sees it, so... He's still got enough for vengeance. Okay, no more vengeance, so now that means we're pretty much guaranteed to have him see. No, I want to kill. Sorry. Actually, what we can do... 13, that's just perfect right there. He'd have to have another freeze, you have to use it right here. Okay, nice. So this thing's leveling up right here. Alright, awesome. And we have our other Vigos in hand, so that's nice as well. Do have a right negation for his Fielder Rush as well. We'll see if he goes that route. So we're, I think we're in pretty good shape right here. They have the atrocity as well. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Maybe he's looking for it? I don't know, actually. Can do that. I think I'm fine with this. Nice, we get to deny that. Go ahead and kill there. Actually, it doesn't even matter. We can just... Well... Yeah. We'll just do that. Actually, actually you know, I should have killed this. Now I'm thinking about it. Okay, we, we won anyways. Yeah, I should have killed uh, his unit <laughs> rather than, uh, than mine. Just because then that means we steal his other uh, blocker. Alright, up against Jace Heimer. Okay. Um, toss that back. 
Don't mind keeping these. Mercer Hunter can be good to remove their champions. I like Kimberborn Soldier as well. Toss the rest back. Alright. Nothing on turn one. Alright. So far, no plays on turns one or two, but that's alright. Um, since Heimer is a four, five, Jace is a four, we don't have to worry about them coming down now, so I think we can go ahead and get the Camerhorn Soldier down here. Okay, he goes with assembly line, sure. Fortunately, no way we can take advantage of this. We'll go ahead and attack with it. Okay. Alright, spider's nice. We can drain from here. Um, do we kill Jace? Kill Jace, take five. Hmm. I'm trying to think we could play Merciless Hunter on it. Um. Hmm. It's a tough choice. If we play Merciless Hunter there, we can block, block, Valfeast here. That actually sounds better to me. Go like this. And then we can always file if he's here. We're just taking four. I think that's fine with me. Could also just quicksand. Quicksand here. No, I think we'll do this. We'll vile feast here. Yeah. Could even Ancient Hourglass onto here. But then that can't actually kill him. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can draw something here. Alright. Um, not the best, but, uh, this is a playable card here. Okay, so it's likely he's got a way to kill this if we just attack in, right? He could have Mystic Shot. Um, hmm. So we're at five, so we still can't play this next turn. Are we okay to pass here? Yeah, I think I'm fine with it. Take the pass. I'd rather him not be able to play a fresh Jace. Okay, there's Heimer. Okay. So we can go with the Kimavoran soldier. Okay, sure. Go ahead and kill Jason now. We care. I don't really care much about Heimer, honestly. There's Viego. I think we'll go ahead and get Viego down. We can still protect him with Hourglass if he's got like a Thermo Beam or something. Okay. Does have the assembly line. Alright, 
So we'll have the elusive. We do have quicksand for that. I think I'll go ahead and get the waking sands down now. We'll have this die so that he can. Diego will see it die and then uh, create a. a uh, approaching miss for next turn, yeah. Alright, so go ahead and quicksand. This guess this is fine. We we'll definitely want that to die if we can. We go like this here. See how this goes. Okay. Twelve. That'll be sixteen. Go ahead and do this here. I think another quicksand is going to be needed, honestly. Hopefully, we'll get the hydra vine next turn. He's only got eleven, so he can't do multiple six cost uh, kills. We have atrocity, but unfortunately we've done no damage to the uh, Nexus. Alright. So we do have to uh, hourglass around that. So we don't see this one, unfortunately. Alright, now if he's got another one, we're in trouble. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can necessarily play around a second one. I think we have to go for this. He's got a second one, he's got a second one, you know. It sucks. Either Thermo or Vengeance. We unfortunately just don't have a play around it. Hey Rosa, got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great, we're running into heat issues. What you got? Okay, yeah, he does have a second one. It's unfortunate, but we can't really do anything about that. No denies or anything. Okay. We can go attack in. <laughs> Getting for five. Yeah, I think we're in a bad spot now. Feast is nice. Can at least. Replicating the power spike. I think we're still dead for sure, but. Uh, can at least do this. Maybe we survive. Seems unlikely. It's unfortunate. I don't really know if there's anything we can do here. He holds that back, so I think we'll do... Um... This... And this here. Kill that. Kill that. Block. Go to eight. I think that's our only play here, really. Okay, so we 
does get to kill that. Um. Yeah, it's just not looking good, is it? Maybe we do an atrocity here. Ah, uh, no. We definitely needed to kill that. Okay. Yeah, alright. I think we're just dead no matter what we do, unfortunately. Oh, we didn't get Viego. <laughs> but, unfortunately, it's too late. We just don't quite have what we need for this. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Second Viego, or third Viego, I guess is more like it. It's not gonna do it though. All right. All right, mirror match. Alright, definitely keep in Viego. Toss that back, toss that back. Keep the hourglass as well for protection. Alright. Get our treasure seeker down. Okay. Alright, nice. Get our King of Orange soldier down as well. Okay, Let's see what they want to do here. Alright, I'm fine with passing. Does not bother me at all. Okay. I think we'll go with our treasure seeker here. Have some waking sands. Start getting vehicle powered up. When we look ahead. We know how to prepare. Go get the tiny down. Alright, nice. In round. Definitely getting Viego down. See if he's got his Viego too. He does. Okay. So I'm getting making sands down. So it's a mirror so far. <laughs> so far, so far. Okay. See no reason to play anything. Unfortunately, we don't have a vengeance, which would be really nice. This is tough. We got the atrocity, got a right negation, have an hourglass, no vengeance though. So that is a little bit annoying. Okay. So I'll go 
ahead and do my waking sands here. You could write negation in it, I guess. This is fine. We're ahead right now, so I think that benefits us. And this is tough. <laughs> I think the only thing that's beneficial right now is we're ahead by three. Okay. So if I go like this... Lose that on three, but... I want to see if I can get him to write a negation it, maybe. So he writes a negation, so we can go kill and also hourglass. So at the very least we're tied if he's got hourglass. And we also get rid of one of his Viegas. Okay, so he's got hourglass too. Sure. Okay. So after all that, <laughs> we do kill one of his Viegos. Um, I don't think there's any reason to attack in. Maybe he'll make a misplay and block something different. I think that's the only reason. Okay. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> if he has Hydrovine, that's pretty bad. That's really bad, actually. Okay, yeah, we'll just... I don't want to play Hydrovine, so, okay. Hmm. I guess we keep passing? Man, I don't know. This is so tough. I could... That I need eight more power. Fortunately, he starts the round. So if he flips, it's worse for me. So I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Another red negation is nice. So we're definitely winning the race at this point. We got two red negations. We should be able to level him up without dying, I think. Go 
go ahead and do this here. That would be his last Viego, so I'm going to do this, see if I can draw out something else from him. Four. So it's not going to be really enough. Has he played any right? He's played one right of negation. You got two more. Alright. Man, this is tough. This mirror here. Good news is if we both level up on this turn, then uh, I will go first since it's it'll be my wrap the round start will be on my attack token, so I will kill his Viego first. It's basically how that would work. Alright, nice. <laughs> yeah, he realized it. So leveling up Viego first and then having it on our attack token was, was why we were able to win that, so GG. Okay, so that is Mono Viego. Um, it's a tough deck to play, very much a control deck, so you got to really think about your turns and kind of um, how to level up Viego and, and making sure you're able to protect him while also not dying <laughs> in the early game. So it's definitely a very cerebral deck. I'm going to do a lot of thinking in it, but I think it's a really strong deck right now. Probably, um, if it's not a tier 1, probably high tier 2 deck at this point uh, in the meta. So it's got a lot of good matchups. Uh, it does really well into a lot of control decks. And so you've got things like, you know, Ancient Hourglass for 2 mana is able to protect Viego really well. And Ryan Negation, of course, is really strong. Um, so overall, a very strong deck. Um, and I think it's uh, really well positioned in the meta right now. So uh, definitely give the deck a shot and let me know how it does for you. Definitely eager to hear uh, how you're able to climb with it. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. We'll see you next time. Take care.